Are you tired of Blender renders taking forever and your PC becoming unusable while rendering? What if I told you there's a completely free open source render farm that solves both problems? It's called Sheepit and it's made hundreds of my projects possible. Let me show you how it works and how you can start using it today. Sheepit is a community powered render farm. You earn points by rendering other people's projects when you don't need your PC and the more points you have, the faster your projects render. And even if you don't render anything, your projects will still get done, just a bit slow. Alright, let's jump in and I'll show you exactly how to set it up. First, create an account. Let's choose a username and password real quick and accept the terms and conditions and click register. Now you will get an email with a link that you need to click on. This leads you to this page. Click on login and type in the username and password you just chose. If we now go to the get started page, we can see that we can't yet do anything because every account needs a profile picture. So choose a random picture of some concrete or whatever you want and go back to the get started page. But we still can't submit our projects. To activate your account, you need to render 10 frames first. To do that, let's download the renderer for our operating system, open it and type in your username and password. You only need to do this once. Now normally you can see your GPU here. I have an AMD GPU though, so for me it's only CPU rendering. Decide how many resources you want to give Sheepit and set the priority. I will set the priority quite low because I want to work while it's rendering. Now click start and your machine will be tested so that Sheepit knows how many points to give to you. And then you just wait until the 10 frames have rendered. In this window here, you can see a very low resolution preview of the frame or a part of the frame you rendered for someone else's project. And 10 frames and 14,000 points later, we can now finally upload our own projects to the farm. Before we do that though, we need to prepare our Blender file so that there are no missing textures in the result. Let's say we wanted to upload this beautiful dirt cube to Sheepit. First, let's check our output format. Sheepit works with PNGs or EXRs, but it will generate an MP4 video for you if you really want that. For Sheepit to have the textures, we simply need to go to File, External Data, Pack Resources, and now the textures are inside the Blender file. Another neat trick is to click Save As and then click on the Settings icon and choose Blender Compression. This makes your Blender file way smaller, which can be important for big scenes because Sheepit has a 2GB limit. Back on the Get Started page on Sheepit, we can now upload our Blender file. Click Send this file and now we got this menu. Here you can choose if you want your project to be rendered by CPUs or GPUs. GPU is obviously faster, but because my scene is so small, CPU is enough for this example. Because your frame is only allowed to take about 20 to 40 minutes on an average machine, you can split the frames here into tiles so that one frame can theoretically take up to 24 hours on the reference machine. Here you can check this box if you want cheaper to generate an MP4 video for you, then click add this blend and other previous clients will start downloading your file. We can see our project in the projects list. Um, let's see. Here it is, and if we refresh the page, we can see that 8 people are already rendering our project. If a box is yellow, it means that the frame is being rendered. If it's blue, it means it has finished rendering. We can view our frames if we click on the magnifying glass. And as you can see, our dirt cube rendered perfectly. Here on the right, we can change who has permission to render our projects, and we can also add users as managers to our project, so that another user can download your frames. That can be very helpful if you work in a team. And after 5 minutes it's done and we can view and download our frames. There's one exception. If you want to use simulations or video textures as I did in this blend file, you will find that you can't pack them into the blend file. You can still render this with Sheepit though. Let me show you how you can do that. Go to File, External Data and Make Parts Relative. Before that, you actually need to make sure that the folder with your image sequence or your video file is in the same folder as your blend file. 
If that is the case, you can now compress them into a zip file and this zip file can now simply be uploaded to Sheepit. And this time let's go with GPU for a change and let's also generate an MP4 video to demonstrate that. Alright, this one has also finished rendering and as you can see this all worked, all the frames are as they should be. There are so many other cool features on Sheepit but that's what you need to know to get started. Connect your machine whenever you can to keep this render farm alive. I hope you have a nice day whatever time it is from where you are watching this video. Watch the video on the right about 3 free add-ons that I really recommend or the video on the left if you want to simulate a waterfall with me. Bye!